Hello and welcome to Jazz After Dark. How is everybody doing here tonight? Awesome. I can't spend a lot of time with you because we're about ready to do our wine and wealth class uh, for clients where we're going to talk about the details of FedNow and the digital dollar, the CBDC. Uh, so we're going to go through all the intricacies of that and uh, I want to make sure I've got time for that. But <clears throat> okay, th this is not me, by the way. So I'm going to ask you some questions tonight, only three of them. And if you can answer them, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, their new study here, this would actually make you financially literate. And I'm going to shock you with these questions. Uh, I've got my old fashioned here. Um, you know, I took this broken uh, barrel because uh, it wasn't amazing. And I mixed it with the last of my whistle pig uh, syrup that the whistle pig actually sent me for free for my birthday. Uh, Woodford Reserve spiced cherry bitters. Very, very good there. And then, of course, we got our Luxardo cherry on the bottom, which you always muddle, right? Little side trick there. You want to take the old fashioned to another level. You muddle the cherry. Don't just drop it in there. Muddle that thing. You let the ice cube smash it down. Get all kinds of sweetness up in there. Mm. Mm hmm. It is tasty. Oh, that's so good. Of course, you got your orange peel all wrapped up in there. So the missus did me right here tonight. Okay, uh, National Bureau of Economic Research uh, shows that very little Americans are financially illiterate. I'm reading to you now, in case you were wondering if I was going to do that. Um, especially with respect to challenging concepts that underlie retirement and income planning. So these are going to be challenging questions that I ask you. Now, to be fair, the reason they did this study initially uh, was to figure out if people were emotional about their dollars. That's what really sucked me into reading this here, is that people that are less financially literate will make bonehead moves with their money and therefore miss out on growth of their dollars. So I was like, okay, I, I could buy that. So we've got, uh, after 20 years of doing this study here, uh, I don't know who the people were. Uh, it was through the National Bureau of Economic Literacy. Um, we come up with some efforts, uh, they said, uh, known as the big three, a short set of questions that has allowed the research community to track people's understanding of basic financial concepts. Here are the exact wordings of the question. Let's see how you do. There's only three, so you gotta get them all right or you're not gonna pass. Ready? Uh, by the way, uh, real quick, uh, what was it? 61% uh, of the population Okay, so the first question I'm going to get uh, give you is not 61%, but I'll tell you how many of Americans got this right, okay? And it's going to go from easy to hard. Here we go. Suppose that you had $100 in a savings account and the interest rate was 2% per year, okay? After five years, how much do you think you would have in the account if you left the money? Would you have A more than $102, B, exactly $102, right, make you think on that one, huh? Or C, definitely less than $102, okay? Let you think about that one for a second. A, B, or C. So at, this is the one that people got right the most, so thumbs up if you got it, right? And I'm sort of being sarcastic here. 81% of Americans got that question right and understood the basics of simple interest rates. Okay. How'd you do? <laughs> Come on, right? Like I read that and I'm like, I don't know what grade it was in, but I'm pretty sure I learned that somewhere along the way. Okay, question number two. It gets a little harder now. Okay, only 61% of the population studied got this question right. So it you know, do you want to move on to the next round or you want to take your money and move? Just kidding. Okay, number two. Imagine that the interest rate on your savings account was 1% per year and inflation was 2% per year. With me? After one year of savings, how much would you be able to buy with the money in this account? A, more than today. B, exactly the same amount or C, less than you could today. So there's a tricky one there, huh? They're giving you the savings rate and they're saying, well, inflation is more than your savings rate, presumably for that year. And so would you have less purchasing power, more purchasing power, would it be exactly the same? 61% of the population uh, got this one correct. Uh, 
We have basic understanding of financial concepts that revolve around simple interest rates and inflation. Okay. Now, if that was tough on you, the third question, we're just going to do this. All right. Are you ready? The third, we'll make it easy. I'm going to go truth or false, true or false on this one. This is, this is theirs. I'm not making this up. This is a tough one. All right. True or false. Buying a single company's stock usually provides for a safer return than buying a stock mutual fund or ETF. I'm surprised they put that in there, right? For, first of all, like, you know, we're already assuming that these people would know mutual fund, but um, that's the question. True or false? You buy a single stock uh, of a company, would that provide a safer return? than a stock mutual fund. Didn't say bigger return, it said safer return. So the trick to these questions is to make sure you don't get tripped up on the little words there. They didn't say larger return. Are you still thinking about it? 43% of people were able to answer all three questions correctly. Now, uh, I keep my thoughts to myself. Uh, thus, Knowledge of basic financial concepts cannot be taken for granted. They suggest even in a country with well-developed financial markets and where the transition to, de oh, to defined contribution plans has been underway for decades, financial literacy still remains rather low. Uh, no, sorry, uh, rather low. The uh, people who, uh, percentage of not just incorrect answers, but also of the people who did not know the answers is strikingly high. There you go. So you thought this was going to be like, oh, hey, uh, should you or should you not save in a Roth or an IRA? We went a different route tonight. We went that we went with three basic or not basic questions. Apparently, we went with three questions. I beg of you, you you know, I mean, you if you're watching me and this is not the first video video you stumbled across, you knew the answers. That that was like that was fun, something to do. Maybe you had too much to drink and you're like, well, I was a thinker, you know. But you know. Um, if you think you know somebody in your life that couldn't answer those questions, do them a solid and just teach them. Teach them that. We got to get past that kind of stuff. That is fascinating. Number one, that this was apparently funded by us. Uh, taxpayers apparently paid for this 20-year study to ultimately come down to three uh, questions. So I'm a little disappointed in that one there. Um, but, and it took two people to do this study. So... Ah, you know, maybe different arguments to be had there. But God, we got to know this stuff. What This is basic. This is in elementary school. Play the game with money, doing all of that. Um, how'd you do? Let me know how you did. Be honest. You know, if, if I, maybe you just misunderstood. There has to be room for that kind of error. I won't pick on you. But um, boy, if you didn't get those questions right, I guess I would suggest keep watching. I like teaching. I'm here to teach. I won't pick on you. We'll have a good time with it. Um, if you got those questions right, you are in the, I mean, well, 43% of respondents were, you're, you're one of the 43%, only 43%, less than half of the people they asked. And I was trying to scroll back and see, um, I'm going to have to go to uh, the PDF of that one because I wanted to see how many people did they study there. Uh, my wife got me looking at that stuff because she reads all the medical studies and she's like, yeah, but it was 12 people. It could have been anybody. Uh, so I will have to find that out. We're going to come back to this one for sure, but that is the big three questions. Not just any questions, that is the big three questions. Godspeed, America. Uh, look, there's nothing wrong with not knowing the answer, but those that just dismiss it and are not willing to know the answer, well, that one hurts a little bit. You know what I mean? You just simply, nowadays, type it in chat GPT, probably just tell you the answer, right? All right. Um, I just found that fascinating. And also, last thing, sorry, is, should we touch on more stuff like that? Should I be, am I going too far? Like with the things that we share with the market and the lessons and things, is that like too advanced? And while we'll keep that, should there be a room for basics to make sure we're not leaving anybody behind that wants to participate? All right, enjoy the rest of your evening and thanks for watching. I've got to go, so I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the flip side. Adios.